signal fire, full power starboard engine, port mixture off, mellowing port prop. Port prop closed, landing flap gear. Then. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. You passed then? Of course I passed. You don't call me Charles Lindbergh for nothing, eh? Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Well done. Let's, Let's have a drink. Hey. What the hell are you doing here? We're becoming anxious, Mr. Martin. Just making sure you hadn't forgotten. I don't forget. Shipments don't just happen. We realize that. As soon as I know, you'll hear about it. Okay. Have a nice day. Not just now, trying to fight the flood. Who are you saying you're looking for? John. He used to work for Neil Pember. Oh, nasty business that was. Oh, His wife did very well out of that, you know. Have you seen him around? Yeah, I know him vaguely. He's not a village lad. Where do you reckon I might find him? He's hardly in any trouble, is he? Trouble? There's money in it. From Pember's will? Oh, that's all right. Yeah, hang on a sec. I'll ask my daughter. She knows where all the lads are from 13 to 30. I'm safe, sir. I shouldn't bet on it. Jenny! Yeah? Yes, you know the Anderton lift? Yeah, he was at last time I was up here. That's where he's working. Good. Thanks very much. That's what I'd like to see. I thought you'd gone. I had, but I'm back. I can't give up with you. Listen, how about next Friday night? Hello, hello. One, two, three, testing. Must I? Must you what? Be involved. You're my wife, for God's sake. Of course you're involved. I haven't told you yet what we're doing, have I? It'll be a barrel of laughs. Well. That's what you always say. Oh, they are such dreary old farts. Oh, come on, not all of them. All of them. Well, thanks to those dreary old farts, my dear, you can laze around in your bath all day and toast yourself in your sauna. All right. What is it this year? I'm going to surprise you. Really? I'm hiring a boat. What? You heard. Oh, my God. We're going to go up the river and we're going to have us a party. All at the same time? You're mad. 
outside in this weather. Don't be inside, for God's sake. Who cares what the weather's doing? We'll all drown or be shipwrecked. It's a terrible idea. Listen, there's going to be loads of bubbly dancing, a couple of strippers. couple of strippers. Oh, come on. There always is. Always the same pair, Gert and Daisy. I've seen those tired old tits about as often as I've seen my own. Yeah, okay, well, it's going to be different this year. You mean they've had a retread? Oh, don't be crude. A whole evening will be different. Be a novelty. Len, has nobody told you you're getting desperate? Morning. Lift not working today. Hasn't worked for a year. Really? Last time I was here, I must have uh, been. Ah, she's sure not here. It's the poor old thing. <laughs> How old is she? 110. Whisker boat up 50 feet like that. Wouldn't even spill your beer. And it doesn't say made in Japan on it. Uh, it's a damn sight too good for today's lot. You got a John Lacey working for you? Aye. John, there's a bloke to see you. Making tea if I know how. Mind if I look around? Don't break anything. <laughs> Well, bloody rotten, that's your problem. If you're not careful, you could end up dancing with the chairman of Alpha Travel. Not him. <laughs> he's well liked. Not by me, he's not. <laughs> Look, Joe. There's one thing worse than the lower orders at work, and that's the lower orders at play. One condition. I'll dance with him on one condition, that he doesn't breathe on me. If he wants to dance with me, he wears a surgical mask. I'm serious. You go on like this, it's going to be a fun evening. <sighs> All right. I'll come and I'll be the perfect hostess. But it'll cost you. Morning. Don't know if you remember me. I used to work with your old boss, Neil Pember. What's happening here? Too costly to repair. What are you going to do? Let it rot? Hasn't been settled yet. You got a million going begging? <laughs> you wanted to see me? Yeah. Uh, Neil, did he have any particular friends? You know, people that he saw regularly, people that he met more often than others. Why are you so interested? Interesting. What happens to me on this? We found the lake and drowned. Yeah, I read. We don't believe it. Not necessarily. You? I was just his gopher. Worked the run about that, a few rowboats, whatever. We never talked much. Yeah, secretive. Sort of. If I showed you some photos, could you tell me if you recognize any of them? I've seen one or two of them before, maybe not. I need time to think. To think whether you've seen them or not? Surely you must know. My memory doesn't work that way. Mine does. Mine doesn't. Where will you be if I remember him? Narrowboat named Harmony. I'll be in Queen's Marina, there for a bit. If I remember anything, I'll come and blow in your ear. I'll pay, you know, for results. Never thought you wouldn't. About 15 or 20, including wives, concubines, whatever. It's no problem. Take them and 20 more. You lay on the communion wine. It's all good for business. A couple of hefty accounts writing on this one, Graham. I'm reading you loud and clear. It'll be a night to remember. That's what I said about the Titanic, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, a little strip tease, maybe? Ah. Joan, revealing an unsuspected puritanical streak. <laughs> well, sitting there quaffing your bubbly, looking up at a set of stretch marks like an accordion who needs it. That's true. And according to those in the know, strippers are out. Exotic dancers are in. Is that so? That's what it says in the brochure. Well, there's brochures for you. Hot foot from the foothills of the Atlas Mountains, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Via Lime Street, if you ask me. <laughs> Any preference for route? Or should we just cruise down the Weaver? Yeah, that'll do nicely. Right. Wheelhouse. The galley. And I just had the main cabin done up. Oh, great. Yes. Hey, it's a bit parky, isn't it? Oh, don't worry. Come the night, it'll be subtropical. Nothing more <laughs> off putting than goose pimples on a girl's body. It's like peeping at the turkey before you stick it in the oven. Don't worry for you, Len. They'll be positively glowing. Stateroom downstairs, in case anyone's feeling a little... Uh... Sleepy, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. And the little girl's room? En suite. Good.
Just checking. <laughs> Max. <gasps> I knew this woman once, told me she was getting married, in the same breath said she hoped it wouldn't alter our relationship. That wasn't me. No, it wasn't. Did tell me you were getting married, though. I did. Tell you and uh, get married. What happened? It didn't take. I'm sorry. So was I. No chance of you getting together. When do you realise? Do you believe 48 hours? <laughs> Always were a speedy young zone, if you. We'll do my sackcloth and ashes later. How about you? Oh, I'm OK. Any news of Steve? Yeah, we met. Spent a week together. Had a message from him day four yesterday. What sort of kid is he? To start with, he's not a kid anymore. Travelling around. No shortage of female admirers either, it would seem. <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> no champagne. It's in the fridge. Well done. You know, my husband liked to make love to me with the light on. He said he liked to watch the colour of my eyes change. What, from green to red? <laughs> so that's the strength of it. I'm sorry, though, really. I never was very good at choosing things. So what now? Cry on Maxie's shoulder? Well, we'll talk about it over in India or a Chinese, eh? All right, you choose. Are you still here from that journalist friend of yours? Robbo? Mm. Yeah, I spoke to him the other day. Is he still helping? He's trying to. Yes, he's just sitting Tony Reynolds, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you, um, you fancy a chat? Yeah, we talk all day if you like. I'm not going anywhere. Nor am I. I'll pull up a pew. Thanks. How are you getting on? Oh, fine. Oh, I'm going home next week. Huh? You? Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm just visiting. Oh. I thought you didn't look too hot yourself. You're going back to the force? Oh, I don't know yet. Doubtful, I suppose, if I'm honest. What was it? Warning shot? Oh, no. It was a fully-fledged coronary occlusion. Oh. You start kidding yourself it was a hiccup, and you go back and repeat all the same mistakes. So I'm changing. Mm. You sound very adjusted. It's all credit to these people, and they're wonderful. They make you face up to it. Make you know yourself. Proper study of mankind is man. Three minutes of circulatory arrest before brain damage begins. Only three minutes? Makes you realise how lucky we all are. Can I talk to you about Neil Pember? Neil? <laughs> I haven't seen Neil since... Uh... Not since his canteen of cutlery piss up. You haven't heard. Heard? He's dead. Drowned. Poor old Neil. What do you remember about the Lomax business? What's your interest? I'm a friend of Lomax's. My name's Robinson. He's hoping, well, trying, to have the case reopened. Mm. Still says he's innocent, does he? Yep. That money didn't walk, you know. And it wasn't programmed to self-destruct. True. 
and I didn't have it. Didn't think you had. Lomax believes that Pember was implicated in a stitch-up. What's your reaction to that? I was with him. Most of the time. But you don't seem too shocked by the idea. To be honest, I was surprised when he put his papers in. I was surprised. If it was Pember, he'd have needed a partner. That's the second time you've said something like that. Are you accusing me? No, nah, no, nah, of course not. Relax. I wonder if you'd do me a favour. I want you to look at a few photographs. See if you recognise anyone. This one. Pember met him a couple of times. For a drink, lunch, perhaps both. When? Oh, three years ago. At the time of the Lomax business? At about that time, yes. What's his name? Don't know. Never did. You talked to Pember about him? No. Is there anything you can remember about him? I mean, did he drive a Volvo? Smoke Romeo and Juliet cigars? Was he another cop? No, definitely not. How can you be so sure? You know these things instinctively. I think uh, he had a slight Mick accent. Maybe. Obviously, you spoke to him. No. I heard him call across to Pemba. Dead, eh? Eight of us on that bust. Can't be more than two of us left now. Sick friat crustulum. What's that? That's how the cookie crumbles. In Latin. Caesar, apparently, was always saying it. That, but which photo was Reynolds talking about? A man with Pember walking around the stately home. What about the name? Didn't ever know his name, but he said he had an accent. An Irish one. Irish? Yeah, so he said. Heard him call out something. What was the connection? He didn't know. Wasn't a snout of Pember's. I never thought to ask. Wouldn't Reynolds have known? Necessarily. Well, he didn't look like a snout. No, but then you don't look like a Fleet Street pundit, do you? I'll treat that with a contempt he deserves. Of sprouts. <laughs> the smell always reminds me of the stuff we used to use on Steve's models. These photos? Don't. I seem to have spent the best years of my life looking at them. This one. What about it? I know him. Do you? So do you. Never seen him before in my life. Well, I know him, I'm sure of it. Where was it taken? No idea. One of Robbo's candy cameramen up here somewhere. Mm. Well, I haven't been up here before. I think I haven't. So it must be London. You sure? Yeah. Oh, I think so. Hmm. Don't care what you say. I know him.
Yes. Yes, uh, early nosh at the George, and then uh, some hire cars take us out of the boat. Mm hmm. It's going to be a rave up. Would I lie to you, eh? <laughs> no, dancing girls and cakes. What do you mean, what sort of cake? Cheesecake, of course. Hmm? Good man. And uh, your lady. You're a gent. Cheers. Bye, Jack. Coffee? Uh, thank you. Who was that? Oh, Jack Tate. Does all those over 60s holidays in Lorette, Costa del Geriatrica. Is he coming? Of course. What's his wife like? Anne Big. Used to play rugby, Wakefield Trinity, second row. <laughs> I shall tell her. She'll give you her autograph if you ask her nicely. So what have you been doing then? Nothing. <sighs> Just trying a few things on for Friday night. Oh, what are you going in? You mean you don't like this? Oh, Joan, it's late. I've had a terrible day. I have a bus stranded in Fontainebleau with 40 paralytic bands. What's wrong with it? Joan, I said I was tired. Oh, I get it. Nothing to wear, eh? How did you guess? And what happened to your excess card? You told me it had expired. Exhausted, I said. That boutique where they have all those Italian things. Don't tell me. Just buy something, OK? Come and have a sauna with me. Don't think I'd be up to that. Your loss. Uh, this is Len Martin speaking. No, put them through, operator. Yes. Day after tomorrow. I'll come to you. Yes? Birth six. Right. Sherlock Holmes. Who's winning? <clears throat> Do you want to know his name? Yes. Mm. You might not know him, but you know his wife. Oh, God, do I? <laughs> Don't worry, relax, not like that. She was Lady Loosemouth. It was her that told us about the drugs coming in through Southampton. One of my regulars. Highlights? Manicure, twice weekly shampoo. Spend a bomb on herself. Well, she moved away. Clients like that, you miss them. You remember them. How do you know him? Hmm. He used to pick her up at the salon. One of the girls did a trim for him once. He was in road haulage. You've got him. Martin. Martin. And what do you say to Maureen now? Thank you, Maureen. That's okay, my train was late. Maureen, Bravo. Enchanté. Hello, I've heard a lot about you. Only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> Voila. Snap. Mr. Martin, meet Mr. Martin. How? My assistant. It was nothing. Don't be so modest. How about an address? They moved. They? Martin and his wife. No idea where to, I suppose. I mean, north, south, east. Uh-huh. First name? Sorry. Road haulage. He was in road haulage. Must be some trade directory. I'll get on to it. Was it a good job? 
Oh, yes, he was a, an area manager, depot manager, something like that. Did they have any, uh, what are we looking for? Hobbies, interests, anything they were into. Ballroom dancing, vintage cars, antique books. <sighs> Not as far as I know. As far as she was concerned, life consisted of cramming more and more expensive clothes into her wardrobe. Gives him a motive. Know how he feels. Were it not for Attila the Hen, I'd be into my novel by now. Oh, all the notes are there. Under the spare bed. Only one way you'll ever leave the street. You know Robbo knows every barman in Fleet Street by his first name. Used to. Used to. Serving women and Elvinas. And not that that's a bad thing in itself. Hang on, I've remembered something. What? Well, the Martins' address, well, their old address, it'll be in the Salon Diary. Three and a half years later? I don't throw them away. It'll be in the shop somewhere. We well, could go back with Robbo, dig it out. Be all right, wouldn't it? Hmm? Oh, of course. People at the old house may have a forwarding address. But it has been known. Of vandalism. I thought it was supposed to be a choir festival. That's what they said when they booked it. Yeah, I didn't know United ran a choir. Park it up. Mr. Martin. Yes? I have a few words. Uh, I'm busy. See my secretary. Ember. Low Max, your good self. Back bar the King's Head, 12.30, and bring 500 pounds with you. Mrs. Cooper? Yes? My name's Robinson. I'm a journalist. We're trying to trace a previous owner of this house. Oh, we've only been here since August. Uh, who was here before you? My sister. And uh, what is her name? Stevens. Ah. I suppose you wouldn't by any chance know who had the house before her? Yes, I would. Mr. and Mrs. Jackson, my aunt and uncle. And before them, I should think it was Queen Victoria. That any help? Not one I Look, the baby's teething. Drop of brandy on the finger, rub gently across the gums. Does it work? Never fails. Could even try some on the baby. Lomax. Know who I mean? He's looking for you. Doesn't seem to think Pember drowned. I meant drowned accidentally. Bit late to ask him now. He has photos of me. Where is he? Lives on a narrow boat, Harmony. I know that. I said where. Queen's Marina, down the Weaver. 
Anything else? No. Are you sure? Quite sure. said 500. It's what's called a discrepancy. I disappear. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Hasn't been here. Since when? Well, about the time you were up here last. Could he be sick? Right, he could. If he were, he'd have got somebody to phone in. What are you saying, then? He's not coming back? Probably. You know what kids are today. Robo. Matt, how is it in Vladivostok? Bloody freezing. How'd you get on with Maureen? Ah, thing of beauty and a joy forever. Robo, the diary. Did you find the diary? Yes, yes, no problem. His name's Len Martin. What? Is that any better? No, but I can hear you. Planes. Aeroplanes, you know, pooting around the sky behind some noxious smelling engine. It's not a lot. I know. Could be interesting. Apparently, he's potty about them. He used to have a sticker on his bumper. Sounds painful. Pilots stay up longer. I'm witty with it. Trouble is, half the bloody country's at it. Thousands of them buzzing around up there, like chasing a snowflake in a blizzard. Hang on, what about pilot's license? What about them? Well, you probably have to put your address on them. Check with the board of trade. Always said you had a fare for this, Max. So take it up. Just get on with it, Robbo. I'll check round the local airfields. Call me in a couple of days. Where? Same time, same place.
Could be a share job. What does that mean? Well, these planes, Cessnas, Pipers, whatever. They're not owned by individuals, you know. A few, yes, but not the majority. They're not? No, most of them are syndicate jobs. A dozen or twenty characters potty about flying, club together and buy a spam can. I see. Don't they fall out about whose turn it is next? <laughs> of course they do. Like big kids. Your Mr. Martin could be one of those. you've got a lead. And sinus trouble. Very nasty. It's a particularly painful treatment where they push compressed oh, air. Oh, it's going to nostril. take you to lunch, but you've blown it. How'd you crack it? Through the association. Got onto the branch office. Is Len Martin there? Of course. Putting you through. Click. Simple as that. You didn't alarm anybody? Max. Not wet behind there, you know. No. <sighs> Can't believe it's that simple. Simple? <laughs> We've been after him on and off for nearly a year. Then Martin, please. Over there, thank you. Thank you. The inn? Inside the warehouse. OK. Yeah. Leave the talking to you. Can I help you? Looking for Mr. Martin. I'll look no further. You? Yeah, you just found me. I, uh, <laughs> I think there's been some mistake. Well, any mistake, it's yours, I'm afraid. Len Martin. Oh, no. I'm Leonard Martin, not that old chestnut. He hasn't worked here in 18 months. Two Martin. Two. In a company this size. Sheer bloody murder. God hopeless. Either him or me. Irish Len. Yeah, thick set, yeah, he got it. More to the point, where did he go? Any idea? Not a clue. Uh, somebody, I don't remember who, met him once, golf course or something. Yeah, you know. What? Yeah, could be. Is he still in the business? I don't know, I think not. Uh, sorry, I can't get any more help. Peter, put your finger out, let me talk to you. Well, how the hell was I to know? You know where we'd be, Robbo, without your little flashes of... Now, what's the word I'm searching for? Um, shut up.
name, nationality, number, date of birth, signature, date of issue. That's it. No home address? No. Well, I'd show you mine, but it's in the clubhouse. Oh, watch out. He's a real nutcase, that one. Oh, no. Looks like he knows what he's doing. Well, he does, but I'm biased. Ah, congratulations. When's the happy day? When it's warmer. I don't really fancy being married in thermals. No, well, it'd be a waste, wouldn't it? <laughs> Martin. Yeah, he's a bit elusive. Are you old friends? Not friends at all, really. Business associates. Money? Yeah, something like that. So, tell me then, what am I going to do? Well, I could ring a couple of the other clubs for you. Would you? Be most grateful. Give me a ring later on this week. I might have some news. Mm. All right, this time tomorrow. Where were you this morning? This morning? Yes. Where well, I am every morning, no, it's the grindstone. You weren't. I called the grindstone. What time? 11 ish. Uh, red one. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I went out. Darby and Joan Club. Possibility you're doing a couple of trips to Spain around Christmas time. See, I was checking on you. You haven't said you liked it yet. Well, I haven't really seen it. Oh, yes. Councillor Drayton's going to love you in that. He's not, is he? Of course. Brass Band's one of our best accounts. What happened to that one stuck in Belgium? <laughs> France. Back safe and full of sound. Driver said they played Colonel Bogey all the way home. I bet that was good for Anglo-French relations. Right, well, I'm going to mix myself a snifter. You fancy anything? Mm, I fancy a sober husband. Just because we're using a hire car. Relax, just to calm the nerves. You haven't a nerve in your whole body. You'd be surprised. Stylish, isn't it? Very. Cost an arm and a leg, didn't it? Expense account. <laughs> Who's? This journalist friend of mine. <laughs> to France. I didn't realise it was their plane. 
Who knows? Maybe this time next week. Don't. Tempting providence. Well, even if we do find him, doesn't mean he's going to break down and confess just because we say please. Chances are he's a murderer. Do you ever contact that solicitor? Um, no, not yet, but I will. Might be able to fix annulment or something. <laughs> what grounds? Oh, don't ask me. Non-consummation. Hardly likely. Hmm. Where is it? Sounds too big for the canals. Must be down there on the River Weaver. <laughs> I wonder who they are. Don't know. Gonna be some thick heads in the morning. Mm. Noisy buggers. <laughs> Must be a works outing. Aye, all right for some. Night. Good night. Hi, Pete. You know what I really fancy? What? Grilled steak. Aphrodisiac. Is it? Well known for it. Oh, I thought it was powdered rhino horn. Oh, that. Plays hell with the steak. Hmm. What's the difference between a wife and a mistress? Do you mind? I'm off wife jokes at the moment. Sorry, no. Max! Yeah? Telephone. Okay, thanks. Be Robbo. Oh. Start grilling the steak if you like. Salad's in the fridge. Oui, monsieur. Thanks very much. Any time. Hello, Max. Max, Robert. Sorry about yesterday. Win some, lose some. How'd you get on today? No great progress. Found a club where the secretary's ringing around for me. She might turn up something. If we do find him. When? When you find him. We should discuss how to approach him. What the hell is that? Maybe burning something off at the chemical works. Like a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> 